Everything you need to know about Africa. Three minutes of Africa. Like and subscribe. The United Republic of Tanzania is located in Eastern Cape just below Kenya. It is the largest country in East Africa and full of vast open plains. Much of the land is the plateau where so many wild animals live including gazelles, zebras, antelope, elephants, bison, crocodiles, horses, hounds and chimpanzees. Dr. Jane Gooda also studied chimpanzees here. This preserved nature is a treasure of Tanzania and its amazing natural scenery and ecosystem are known as UNESCO World Heritage Sites such as Kilimanjaro National Park, Serengeti Park, South Game Reserve. As the country is large, the climate is diverse. High altitudes hit 10 Celsius to 12 Celsius in winter and summer respectively, with the rest of the region having tropical savanna climates and over 20 Celsius in summer. From November to January and March to May are rainy season. If you get to travel, remember that it rains every day in this season. The legal capital of Tanzania is called Dodoma, but Dar es Salaam, the largest city, is functioning more like a capital. The Korean embassy is also located here as Korea and Tanzania began diplomatic relations in 1992. Another city, Zanzibar, is one of Tanzania's islands that has long been a center of the spice trade. It was a trade site, historically speaking, so many cultures came in and it has an exotic charm. Tanzania is a combined nation of Tanganyika and Zanzibar, two different independent states. Therefore, the national flag is also a combination of the two countries' national flags. Black represents the people, green represents the land, blue represents the sea, and yellow represents the natural resources. Tanzania's ethnicity consists of indigenous of 99% and non-Asians, Europeans and Arabians of 1%. 99% of people have more than 100 different roots as you see in the picture above. The languages of Tanzania are Kiswahili, English and others. Swahili is the most widely spoken language in East Africa. Tanzanians all can speak Swahili. This is because the use of Kiswahili is encouraged by the government. So many foreigners who want to study Kiswahili go to Tanzania to learn proper Swahili. There are many religions Christianity, Islam, and traditional beliefs. It is said that most traditional beliefs are practiced in rural areas. Many rural Tanzanians adhere to elements of their indigenous religious practice, or they combine it with Western religions.